next, the beginning of the second. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you're ready, I'm just going to roll. One, a two, a one, a two, a three, four.
Well, we want to welcome you to the Scranton Jazz Festival holiday show that we put together for ECTV and for the community. And we're celebrating 15 years of the Scranton Jazz Festival this year in two, uh, 2019. And uh, with that said, I want to uh, introduce our saxophonist, Mr. Tommy Hamilton, and our guitarist, Mr. Aaron McClellan. And of course, on bass, the great Paul Rostock on the upright bass, and yours truly, the artistic director for the Scranton Jazz Festival, Marco Marcinko. So um, we're going to play some Christmas songs for you. We're going to talk a little bit about the tunes, and we're going to talk about the tradition of jazz. And in the tradition of jazz, of course, there's improvisation. And we like to take melodies, recreate melodies. And we like to improvise on some songs, popular Christmas songs that you probably are very familiar with. So. Um, Maybe uh, we could share the microphone and we could talk a little bit about what it is that we do. And um, maybe, uh, Tommy, you want to say something about improvisation and why we do it? Sure. Well, why do we do it? Why do we do it? Because we can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, well, all talking about tradition, uh, well, Christmas is a very traditional holiday. And uh, we carry that tradition over to our music, of our jazz music. Uh, traditionally, jazz musicians have always played the Christmas songs because they are standard tunes. And they are in the repertoire of most jazz musicians know a lot of Christmas tunes because every year we have to play them at parties and, and concerts. And uh, so we like to incorporate our improvisation into these tunes, which you don't hear too much on. If you're walking down in the mall, you don't hear too much improvising. You hear the tunes. Uh, so we like to do that because it's fun and it lets us put our own personality into the music. All right, thanks, Tom. Well, um, I always felt that these tunes were started out as very simple in terms of chords. You know, you think of chords and you think of a guitar player playing a few chords. Um, and these tunes all started with very simple chord progressions, maybe one or two chords, or maybe three chords. But over the years, probably a long time before some of us were born, uh, the great arrangers and composers would switch these things around or what we call reharmonize and uh, adjust maybe the harmonic progressions um, to become a little bit more complex and essentially allow guys like us to have a little bit more fun um, playing over the tunes. Um, from the standpoint of having more options to play. And so, you know, he talked about reinventing melodies. Well, a lot of times, um, like I was speaking to, is that the, the actual chord progressions might be reinvented a little bit. And, um, and sometimes we actually improvise that. So I might hear Paul play a bass note, and then, I'll, uh, and then we'll all hear it and say, oh, he's using that change here. So we play a lot of uh, play around a lot with what we consider the chord changes, and that's one of the main things that we get to improvise with and have a lot of fun with. And um, it allows it, it gives it that uh, essence of spontaneity that can be really fun for us because all of a sudden somebody throws a, a chord at you and you can hear it, um, and it wasn't where you were expecting to go, and that's what makes jazz so much fun. And the Christmas tunes certainly act as a great vehicle um, for us to be able to, to improvise. Let's pass the mic back to Marco. So with all of that said about improvisation, we're going to play, we opened the show with a beautiful tune called O Christmas Tree, O Tenenbaum, a German Christmas carol that we jazzified. We made it like a medium swing, and it had a really nice feel to it. We added some chord changes that really aren't in the original traditional version that you might heard sung in church or with a bunch of carolers, but that's what makes it unique unto what we do. Now we're going to play a different style for you. We're going to take you down to New Orleans, and we're going to play a New Orleans street beat that we like to call the second line, and we're going to do this song, uh, Winter Wonderland, and we're going to feature Tommy and Aaron on this, and you're going to hear the bass and the drums in the beginning set up that street beat, New Orleans type of groove. It sort of has a calypso sort of vibe to it, but this really comes out of that brass band tradition in New Orleans during the turn of the century, getting into the early 1900s, pre-jazz into jazz. So here's Winter Wonderland.
So that was Winter Wonderland with that New Orleans sort of feel. And uh, how about uh, Tommy Hamilton on the saxophone and Aaron McClellan there on guitar, Paul Rostock on bass. And if you're just joining us, yours truly, Marco Marcinko. And we're talking about uh, Christmas songs and applying a jazz feel to the Christmas music that you hear during this time of year. And uh, we're honoring the 15-year celebration of the Scranton Jazz Festival. So I want to say that jazz is truly an American art form, you know, starting down in New Orleans and then making its way during the railroad, going way back over 100 years now, up to Chicago, New York, out to the West Coast. Jazz is important on the East Coast, East Coast jazz, West Coast jazz, Midwest Kansas City. The whole United States made a contribution to jazz, and it's truly an American art form, the American art form that we've contributed to the world. So we all have a piece and a stake in that, and even here in Northeastern Pennsylvania, we have a stake in that because, historically speaking, the very first recorded jazz festival was recorded in Northeastern Pennsylvania going to the city of Wilkes-Barre and the cavalcade of Dixieland jazz, where Duke Ellington and Louis Armstrong both appeared at it. And uh, of course, we have our jazz festival here for 15 years in the Scranton area that we hold at the Radisson Hotel in downtown Scranton the second week, uh, first weekend of August each and every year. And then the Delaware Water Gap has made a giant contribution to jazz with so many wonderful artists living up there in the Deer Head Inn. And I'm going to pass the mic over to our bassist, Paul Rostock, because he's going to tell you a little bit more about uh, what he's his feelings are on jazz in northeastern Pennsylvania. He, one of the older members of this band, one of the older members of this band, <laughs> has a long history with this music. Here you go, Paul. OK, thank you, Marco. And uh, best of holidays to all you out in ECTV land. We're glad to be back. Uh, the Scranton Jazz Festival is, is one of the highlights uh, culturally in the area. And the first weekend in August every year, uh, set on the site downtown at the Radisson, where outdoor stages over the weekend, and then we have the Jazz Walk, which uh, features different acts in local venues like bars and coffee shops. Uh, the, one of the, what I feel is the great things about the festival is not only does it bring a cultural awareness to the area, which is very important, and a lot of the credit goes to the the, the committee who they work tire tirelessly year round to put together an incredible program. Uh, that you could, in a small market, rivals even larger market festivals and, you know, presentations like that. So it's not only for the community, but for us, it's great because we bring in some of the greatest artists in, in you know, in our music. And some bring their own groups and are what we call self-contained, but a lot of them we get to accompany. And it's just a great experience uh, for us as well as the audience to see that, you know, that... Uh, interplay between us. And it's extremely important. We even go into the schools occasionally and you know, do some educational programs uh, promoting the festival, but also promoting the art form. So um, we really encourage anybody out there listening and watching tonight to, uh, or today, whatever time this is aired, to uh, you know, really check it out. And if you have kids, that's very important. Uh, it's a great family event. Uh, you know, very reasonably priced, and um, it's really, a high, I think, a highlight of the year in, in the area. Thanks, Paul. Uh, we're going to play a tune by a great jazz pianist. You'll know the name and you'll know the music because if you're familiar with the Charlie Brown or Peanuts series, each and every year at Christmas time on CBS, they play a Charlie Brown Christmas, and the great jazz pianist Vince Guaraldi wrote this so song that we're going to play right now. It's called Christmas Time is Here. So we're going to feature our bassist, Paul Rostock, improvising on Christmas Time is Here. We're going to play the melody, and then you'll, uh, you'll hear what we do. We'll talk about it. Thank you. Thank you. 
That was Vince Garaldi's Christmas Time is Here, and that was a 3-4 meter, a jazz waltz meter, and it's played like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that's a little different than the other meters that we did. Most of the music that we play, and most popular music, is in 4-4 four, four time. One, two, three, four, it's even. And this is an odd meter time, a waltz is an odd meter time, and that gives it a certain sort of flavor. And so we play the jazz waltz, on Christmas time is here. And now we're gonna change the meter again back to 4-4, but we're gonna do a Latin groove for you, and we're gonna play a very famous song that you all probably recognize, Feliz Navidad. But with Feliz Navidad, it comes from that Spanish flavor, it comes from that Afro-Cuban tradition, and we have in the Afro-Cuban tradition uh, a beat, a two-measure beat, played by the claves, and Tommy has the claves right here, and this is a 3-2 clave beat, one measure that has three hits, a second measure that has two hits, and it sounds like this. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. And you'll hear that going through the music, and that's very important in salsa music, mambo music, in merengue, and any of those great dances, especially for ballroom dancers, they listen for the clave, they dance to that two-bar pattern. And then all of our playing, the bass playing, the drum playing, the guitar playing, it's all structured around that clave pattern. So you'll hear that with Feliz Navidad. So in fact, why don't we start with the claves and then we'll add some shaker and we'll add some drums and we'll do a little percussion thing up front 
for the audience, right? For the viewing audience. And uh, then we'll get into Felice Navidad. A one, two, three, four. I want to thank everyone for following us, watching this uh, wonderful show here at ECTV. And again, it's our Scranton Jazz Festival gift, holiday gift to you in the community and for ECTV. And a special thanks to Mark behind the camera. He's there. We're looking at him. You can't see him, but he makes it all happen. And our staff and uh, everyone that's involved, our volunteers, everyone, our board members all say, uh, happy holidays to you in uh, northeastern Pennsylvania from the Scranton Jazz Festival. And I thought maybe a couple of final thoughts from the band. I'll pass the mic over to our guitarist, Aaron McClellan, and uh, get a couple of things from him. Thanks, Anna. So this time of year always means a lot to me and my family. Um, and uh, getting to play this music for them has always been a always been a great um, addition to our family gatherings. So usually I'll get stuck uh, when I'm not working playing, I'll get stuck playing some songs and singing some Christmas songs. And um, it's just great to play these kind of songs when you're out and about um, on a gig. You have a nice family in front of you at a table and then you start by playing a nice um, Christmas tune or holiday theme tune and they uh, it brings a smile to people's faces and I think that's why we play music to begin with is you know and and I know that we all enjoy playing these tunes as well and it's certainly my pleasure to play with these venerated uh, musicians here so I'm gonna pass the mic back to Santa we would like to say thanks again and Merry Christmas yeah, I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Can I say that? Yeah, Merry Christmas. Can. Okay. You can. It's okay. Thank you. And happy holiday, whatever your favorite holiday is. I hope you have a happy one. And I just wanted to remind everyone 
you probably already know this, but it's all about the children, isn't it? And uh, that's who we have to nurture and, and uh, teach this music to, teach our traditions, bring them to the jazz festival. And it's all about the kids. All right. I want to wish everybody in ECTV land a great Christmas, happy holidays. Great to be a part of this again. And Mark, thanks so much. Uh, we um, really enjoy doing it. And kind of just kind of following on what Tommy said, you know, the festival's once a year. It's a great event, but we're performing year-round at venues. It's so, you know, it's important to support. It's really hard for especially as local, uh, you know, uh, owners and club owners, restaurant owners, you know, they take a chance on jazz and they do it because they, you know, they want to keep the music going and it's important to, you know, go out and support them. It's, you know, we're, you'll, you'll find us somewhere through the year performing somewhere and, you know, it, uh, and again, if you can get your, your youngsters involved in it, uh, in that in any art, you know, uh, form in the area, it's just enriches their, you know, enriches their lives and keeps it, keeps it alive. So, uh, again, have a great holiday. And of course, I want to thank the musicians that are here uh, playing, Aaron, Tommy, and Paul. Um, yours truly, Marco Marcenko, Artistic Director for the Scranton Jazz Festival. If you want to check out more about the Scranton Jazz Festival, it's scrantonjazzfestival.org. Or you could check us out on Facebook as well. You could go to facebook.com forward slash Scranton Jazz Festival, and you'll get a plethora of information about the Jazz Festival. It's always the first weekend in August. It's here in downtown Scranton at the Radisson Hotel, of course, and multiple downtown venues. All the musicians that you see here performing right now perform at it, as well as a whole host of other local and regional musicians and international and national stars that we bring in for the festival. So uh, we thank you for watching. We're going to play one more song in honor of that wonderful hat that Tommy is wearing, that Santa Claus hat. How about we close with Santa Claus is coming to town? We do a little Santa Claus is coming to town. Ho, ho, ho.
です。